<laughs> hey all you cool cats, this is Mina and welcome to a new series, Ultra Despair Girls Danganronpa, another episode. Um, so I, <laughs> I have not actually uh, played this game, so it is actually a blind run. Um, from the very top, I need to discuss what you can and can't talk about in the comment section. Uh, anything Danganronpa 1 or Danganronpa 2 is allowed, please keep Danganronpa V3 and the anime spoilers out of the comment section. Mostly because, uh, the, the games preceding these, these two games are, uh, this game is 1 and 2. And I just, for the, for the safety of anybody who hasn't played or seen the third one, just don't talk about it in the comment section. And just keep the anime out as well, because it's it's really not necessary um, for someone trying to follow through this all chronologically. So with that being said, uh, other than that, just be, you know, kind to each other and everything else in the comment section. You're free to make fun of me all you want, though, because I'm probably going to be terrible at this. So as I understand it, this is not a, uh, this is not a, um, visual novel. It's, a, uh, it's got some amount of aiming and gunning that I'm sure I will do terrible at. Uh, at least it's not a platformer, right? Because that is my weakest. <laughs> that is my weakest. So, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and, and start with new game. Um... Let's see. Select difficulty genocide mode. Super ultra pump genocide jack mode. For those who just want to enjoy the story. Working hard for a normal girl mode. Komaru mode. And ultra despair mode. Um, let's just, let's go with the middle. Let's go with the middle. Mostly because I, I think I'm, I'm going to be terrible at this. So go with that. Start the game. Alright. First, let's set up your camera. With auto camera, you automatically follow the character you're controlling. And with manual camera, you can control the camera with the right stick. It's going to be changed in the options later on, so choose the one you'd like for now. Uh, let's just go with auto for now. And if it bothers me, I'll switch to manual. According to what I've heard, the world is round. But You're is right. that really true? Yes. Earth might have the shape of rock candy. Like that spiky <laughs> lump of sugar your grandma would wrap in a tissue. But I don't really know for sure. It's not like I've actually seen the shape of the Earth. In the same way, I've never actually seen most things that are considered common knowledge. Common knowledge and what we take for granted. We base our lives around such uncertain things. Well, not that it matters for me. I mean, my world isn't even big enough to worry about stuff like okay. the shape of the earth or common knowledge. In fact, it's pretty small. So small that it's actually a little funny. This is my world. This two-bedroom apartment that I live in is my world. My life doesn't extend beyond these walls. But it's not like I'm a shut-in or anything. I am actually imprisoned oh. inside this room. Oh. My name is Komaru Naegi. Okay. I'm a completely normal high school girl. I don't know how to pause. Have normal daily life. And I don't want to interrupt her. Okay, so Komaru Naegi. She did. She does look like um the girl from the 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 picture in the first game. All right. <laughs> Since my imprisoned life began, this pointless defiance became my morning routine. She 
was kidnapped. But it was only at the beginning that I was seriously crying and yelling. I wonder where their parents are. It's been a year and a half since my imprisoned life began. Can you believe it? A it's year Joker. and a half. So long that I've become completely useless. And, and that uh, mascot it's character. It's frightening how well humans can adapt. I've learned that firsthand through this imprisonment. But it's not like I've completely given up, of course. If I had, I wouldn't do things like change my uniform every morning. I just don't want to get my hopes up too much. Because through this imprisonment, I've learned too much about the horrifying despair that always follows hope. Unfortunately, even I, the victim, have no clue whatsoever. Oh. Ever since I've been taken by strange people into this strange place, I wanted Japanese style this morning. Receiving meals for breakfast, lunch, and dinner is the only communication I have with the outside. At least it looks good. I haven't seen the culprit's face or even heard their voice. I still don't even know why I'm imprisoned here. But regardless of how abnormal and unfair the situation is, this is my world and my daily life now, so it can't be helped. See? Sucks, right? My story ended before it even began. It's not like I still have hope that something sudden will happen after all this time. <laughs> Voice acting's pretty good so far. Not friendly. Oh, that's that's not good. That's not good. Get away from that door. Oh no 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 no. See, this is bad. You need to get on your feet and run. Thank God for on? blurring. <laughs> get, get away from me! Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. How do I move faster? Okay. That's how Where's that's... the elevator? Oh, that looks bad. That looks bad. This way. This way. Why is there a fire? Oh no, I that's can't a dead get end. Through. Oh, come on, run! <laughs> a, a bear? A just, black and white bear? Just run! Just run! What should I do? What should I do? Run! Someone, help me! Okay, there's the elevator. Although we should use the stairs. Man, you should not be using an elevator when there's fires going on. This is a bad idea. Also, it's chasing you. We should be using the stairs, idiot! Togami? What are you gonna do? Yell? Uh, 
Oh, that's right! You must be Komaru Nayagi. Hi. Future Foundation, 14th Division, Byakuya Togami. Nice to meet you. Thank you for covering up her... her... panties. Uh, um. Don't get the wrong idea and start crying. I'm not the one who imprisoned you here. Actually, I'm here to rescue you. Oh. That's awesome! Huh? Future Foundation received intel that a captive was imprisoned somewhere inside this building. Future Foundation? It would appear that intel was correct. However... What is the meaning of this? What are all these vermin Monokumas doing here? Uh, Monokuma? I would assume because they're leftover robots keeping us here, I guess? No matter how you look at it, the timing is just too perfect. Just as we show up, a riot breaks out. No, they must have known we were coming. A riot? Perhaps the intel itself was a trap to lure us here. Uh, um... What, what do you mean, riot? What's going on outside? How long have you been in prison for? And that black and white bear thing back there, what was that? What's going on? So you don't even know Monokuma? That kind of ignorance must be nice. <laughs> He was just like that the first time I met him. Him? Your brother, I assume. You really don't know anything, do you? I guess I'll tell you. Yes, let's break that whole video game anime trope where you don't explain anything because we don't have time. But it will have to wait. Oh, no God. Time talk. <laughs> Never mind. Huh? Jeez, Kagami, why didn't you give them your your weapons? More of them! What should I do? Should? Do you really have an option other than run? <laughs> it's a hacking gun developed by Future Foundation. It shoots program codes with electromagnetic waves. It appears to be effective against these Monokumas. Though you should have discerned that from the test shot. Read the operation instructions included with the gun. You're on your own from here. What? What do you mean? You can run, can't you? I'm busy now. Now that I've seen these annoying bears, I can't just leave them be. Jesus! But where would I go? A member of Future Foundation is on standby at the restaurant across the street. <laughs> Hurry up and go! You're just in the way here! Yeah, yeah, you'll be fine. You're too much of a jerk to ever let anything happen to you, right? <clears throat> Here it is! Pig boy? Oh, man. Run! Help! Someone help me! I thought so. It it looks like um the ultimate uh, chef. Welcome. A table for one? Huh? Bear attack! A bear? Your voice down. You're disturbing the other customers. Who cares about that? Hurry! 
All right, fine. Please, uh, just be quiet, me, okay? One order. What? Relax and stay calm. <sighs> Hungry. Hello? Police? Some suspicious girl is. <laughs> Oh, 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 you guys are not gonna believe her talking about Monokuma? Whoa. Oh, man. Shouldn't the world be aware of Monokuma's, though? Oh, man. Don't breathe. Just be quiet. Emergency! Riots are breaking out all over Toa City! God, take refuge immediately! I repeat, citizens of Toa City, take refuge! You say that, but... What should I do? Yeah, you have that magical gun. Escape. Use the gun. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> okay. Oh, thank goodness, a tutorial. It's time for a tutorial. If you press the L2 button, you ready the hacking gun. Okay, so L2 to aim. Right stick to focus the reticle. R2 fires. Square... Okay. Changes the ammo. Uh, directional button. This makes no sense! Why is this happening? This gun is amazing! Okay. Okay. Well, that didn't do anything. I got them all. How do I? Oh. Oh, burn. Oh, it's like a. Someone! Save me! Girl, you don't need saving. Did you not see what you just did? What is this? What is going on? Getting past that, you know? Mm, who cares? I told you, style is 
important for this kind of thing. Kids are creepy. Oh, so little, little kids. Kitty porn is a no -no. What did you just say? Hey, hey, play with <laughs> what are these kids doing with that body? Hey, what are you doing? Be more serious. <laughs> Didn't I tell you this broadcast was important? This is the Warriors of Hope's keynote address. Jeez, what are you so mad about? Oh, wait, I bet you want to play zombie too, huh, Nagisa? Stop that! Don't come over here! Please stop! Come on, stop! <laughs> Citizens of Toa City, nice to meet you. We are the Warriors. She the we are the masters of Mr. Monokuma. This town, this dirty, lame, worthless, pathetic, good-for-nothing town that's nothing more than a penal colony for filthy criminals. It is on this site that we've decided to build a paradise of children, for children, by children. And therefore, all of you adults will no longer be needed. Good. So creepy. Okay. Oh, oh, opening. Okay, so it is Toko Fukawa. All right. I think I saw the kanji for future. <laughs> Gangster Monokuma? Kurokuma and, and Shirokuma is pretty easy to remember. Just means black bear and white bear. <laughs> the Warriors of Hope. Around a year and a half ago, a certain incident completely changed the world. Apparently, the origin of the incident was a student movement at a certain school. But the school covered it up. So it was too late when the world finally realized... It grew out of control, becoming a monster that swallowed the entire world. It couldn't have just been some riot or student protest. It had to be something far deeper. That much should be obvious. It did come from Hope's Peak Academy, after all. Eventually, the incident grew so much in strength and scale that it threw the world into despair. Theft, arson, brutality, murder, the violent crime rate went off the charts. Violence spawned revenge, which fueled more violence, driving the crime rate even higher. Before long, a global war broke out. A war not for land or ideals, but only for the sake of war. A war that tainted the world with despair. But even with all this evil and chaos, I had complete faith in my world. Yeah, this was the picture from, um, the first game. Right? It, it looks exactly the same, I think. 
She looks like herself. A little different, though I suppose however long she was in captivity, you know, that probably changed how she looked a bit. <clears throat> and even when it felt like I was falling, I kept believing. It's still okay. It's all right. Then, I found out that seven of my classmates had died suspiciously. I fell further still. But even then, I kept telling myself, it's all going to be fine. Don't be afraid. I gotta tell you, if seven of your classmates die suspiciously, I would start being afraid. But the realization that it was too late came to me like the ground rushing up to break my fall. A group of men I had never seen before broke into my house and separated me from my family. Oh, so we don't know what happened to your parents. The world I had been living in up to that moment collapsed. Everything changed. And since that horrible and unjust imprisonment, a year and a half passed. I was supposed to be a normal high school girl, but instead, I became a complacent prisoner. And what was waiting for me at the end of that despair was a despair even deeper. There's no use in keeping hope. That's what I was forced to realize once again. You're quite a bit different from your brother. <laughs> Why is this happening? If I knew this was gonna happen, I would have stayed in my room forever! said that someone is supposed to be here, right? <laughs> How do you know they're not dead? Supposed to be here. That suit. Oh, wait, he's it's alive. the same as that Biakia guy's. I'm gonna go ahead and assume no. Who, who are you? You shouldn't be here. Hurry up and run. Uh, um, you're from Future Foundation, right? How, how did you know? I don't know. I'm guessing all of you guys wear a black suit and tie and shades. <laughs> I, I was told by a guy named Byakuya Tagami to meet you here. Could you be? Are you a captive? C go to the park. Head through this door and go straight down the road. There should be a future foundation helicopter there. Hurry, go. But what about you? Uh oh. Huh? Hurry. You gotta get out of here. I. I'm sorry. We, we couldn't fire a couple of shots. I'm so sorry. Kamaru, you have the weapon that can kill Monokumas. You couldn't have just fired a couple of shots on your way out? The, the town. It's in ruins. Oh, I can't shoot these things. What am I supposed to do? Just run? Just run. Mom! Makoto! Is there like a menu? Is there a menu? Okay, I was trying to look for subtitles, um, because the audio was a little low, but I guess there isn't any, so I'll just learn to be quiet. Are you people from Future Foundation? This guy, you could say yes or no. Tagami, said that you guys could rescue me. <laughs> what is your name? K Komaru. It's Komaru Naegi. 
Looks like that information about a captive in this town was correct. So, where is Byakuya Togami? Is he safe? Uh, I guess so. He's in a burning building by himself fighting off all these Monokumas with a bunch of you guys who are all worthless because you don't have this gun! <laughs> he... he told me to run, so I... I haven't seen him since. I see. I can't reach him, so I thought he might be in danger. He's Byakuya Togami. He's fine. But then again, this is Byakuya Togami we're talking about. <laughs> I'm sure he can handle himself. Right? But, but, but there was someone from Future Foundation getting attacked in the restaurant back there! Please! You have to go save him! Understood. I'll go back for him. I hope he can make it in time. Um, what exactly is going on here? I still have no idea what's happening. I don't know who you are, or where I am, or anything! I see. Well, we don't have much time, so I'll give you the short version. First off, we're from an organization called Future Foundation. Okay. We're trying to help the world recover from the incident. You know what I'm referring to? Incident? It's behind your imprisonment. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. It was more than just an incident. It shook the foundations of society to the core. Considering Komaru just narrated part of, like, the incident, I would have thought that she would... I would have thought this would have been a known quantity. And it wasn't just one. Various incidents broke out all over the world. And then, the war. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history includes that, too. Because of all of this, the world just crumbled. But, in all that chaos, Future Foundation is trying the best we can to bring hope back to this world. Oh, and as for this town... Are you alright? Are you following? Uh, yeah. It's just a lot to take in, that's all. It's hard to hear. I'm sorry, but you need to know. This town is an island off the coast and controlled by a powerful IT corporation. It's commonly called Toa City. Toa City used to just be a nickname, but now it's what everyone calls it. Ever since the government stopped functioning due to the tragedy, Toa Group and their cutting-edge technology are running the show here. Toa Group is a corporation that played a huge role in rebuilding the world. Okay. Ever since the tragedy, air pollution has made a lot of the planet uninhabitable. But Toa Group developed an air purifier that can clean massive quantities of air at a time. They invented it only three months after the safety order to stay indoors was given. So they got a bunch of geniuses working for them? Even after all this time, people all over the world are still clamoring for it. But the clean air isn't the only thing that draws people to this town. Because of Toa Group's influence, this city has suffered far less damage than others. And because it's relatively unaffected by the incident, it's of special interest to us. So... they don't worry about Monokumas? But this kind of riot going on in Toa City, this is something we never anticipated. Okay, so <clears throat> the people here don't have to worry about all the stuff that's going on to the rest of the world, which was why they were acting so disinterested in what Kamaru had to say. So it's a riot? Why is something like this happening? Honestly, even we have no clue whatsoever about what's happening here. Where those Monokumas came from, why they're attacking the city, and that broadcast by those creepy kids. None of it makes any sense at all. The only thing we know for sure is that something horrible is happening here. We need to get more intel, but our priority is to escape. We need to leave, at least for now. Yeah, you're right. We need to hurry and escape. We'd probably get killed in a place like this. And I'm... Um, I mean, I want to see my family again. It's been so long, I... Oh, about your family. Hold it. What was that? Do you hear that? Is that... singing? 
What is it? Hold on, hold on. Over there! I don't think we're safe in there. There's probably a monochromat in there. Oh no, and he's in the driver's seat. That's the worst case scenario. Um. <laughs> you better hope there's like a parachute or something in there. Getting on that helicopter. Hey. Hi. Can you hear me? Uh. Yeah. Good. Are you okay? Oh, you know, just fell out of a burning helicopter and a bunch of monokumas surrounding me. Now laying on a <clears throat> tacky looking bed. Well, it's not that tacky. You look completely exhausted. Uh, who, who are you? Me? Oh, my name's not really important. After all, I'm just a lowly servant. Okay. Why are you wearing that collar? I had heard this town would be safe. So I came here to seek refuge. Then, the riots. So, this takes place between the first and the, the, the second game. Um, as, as I understand it. So he should be... He should be on the side of despair, right? And on top of that, I get captured by them. I've seriously got no luck at all. <laughs> Whatever. This is probably luck in your crazy doodle mind. But because I pleaded for my life, they allowed me to live as their servant. <laughs> He's got a glove on his, uh, his Junko hand. Uh, um... Ah. I'm being rude. Enough about me. Let's talk about you. Either you truly are completely exhausted, or you're simply afraid to wake up and face reality. You were asleep a full two days. A, a full two days? Yeah, well, you know, when you fall out of a helicopter and your life has been, uh, you know, 
thrown around as, as mine has. I, I deserve a couple days of sleep. A full two days. More than enough time for the world to change completely. Yes, even our world can change just that quickly. Like a watercolor painting caught in the rain. Ah, but you're more concerned about yourself than the world right now, correct? Pretty much. You're wondering what's to become of you now that you're trapped here in this place. Admittedly, this place is better than with all those monokumas. What's going to happen to me? Where are we, though? Where have you taken me? <sighs> huh? Uh, apologies. Your reaction was so normal. It surprised me a little. <laughs> you honestly don't have a single unique characteristic. Well, excuse me. <laughs> uh, um... Well, no need to be depressed about it. This world is filled with unremarkable people. And the only one capable of empathizing with common, boring people is a common, boring person like yourself. <sighs> he doesn't do a lot of things to make me like him any more than when I first played Tongarumpa 2. So, that's why you pass. Wh what are you talking about? Well, that is just my personal opinion. It doesn't matter to them at all. Which means I'll need you to take a proper test. A test? Ah, but before that, I'll return this to you. <laughs> the the hacking bullet. gun! I borrowed it from you without permission. Sorry. But I absolutely had to analyze its capabilities. It sure is an amazing little machine. A device that forcibly hacks machines by shooting program codes with electromagnetism. However, it was a bit too powerful. <laughs> I made a few modifications for game balance purposes. Uh, of course. Yeah, it was a little too strong, wasn't it? You're, you weren't gonna let me keep that. Game balance? Oh, no need to worry. You'll have the opportunity to upgrade it later. Uh, um, I have no idea what you're talking about. I understand how you feel, but it's about time you started the test. If you can safely make it all the way to where everyone is waiting, you pass. Everyone? You'll meet them when you get there. However, even after you meet everyone, be sure to keep that gun of yours a secret. Am I going to meet the other remnants of despair? If you don't want to die, that is. I'll be going on ahead. <sighs> it's It's been a day, hasn't it, Kamaru? It's been a day. <laughs> or rather, it's been like three days. What the heck? What is going on now? Well, I'm obviously going to examine that present, but I'll be examining it next time I uh, return to Dongarumpa Ultra Despair Girls.